back to the potting bench. As per usual, please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, now it's time to do it. Click the subscribe button. Also, like this video. And if you have any questions, please drop a comment. Today I'll be talking about Amophaphalus atroviridis. Amophaphalus is a genus of uh, aeroids and it comprises of one of the biggest inflorescences in the world, the Amophaphalus titanum. That's just a sister cousin of this small fella. The Amophaphalus atroviridis fades in comparison size-wise with the Amophaphalus titanum. But don't let its size fool you. It still stinks a lot for its size. So, like every other Amophaphalus, the Atroviridis also does the same thing. It's growing tubers and then it shoots out leaf stalks. Usually it's one single leaf per tuber, but this one here comes out with two leaves. So it could be probably, we have two tubers in here, one being just an offset of the main tuber, or just one tuber being squished out and then shoots out um, a leaf. So the leaf is, it has this big green, deep green lobed leaves, and then the edges of the leaves are colored too. They have like a maroon color, and also the leaf stalk is speckled. So it's like deep maroon with these speckles of white, which makes it an impressive specimen even by itself. The plant itself is, when we talk about size, it's only like 18 inches to maturity, and that's the mature size of it. Um, now, when it blooms, it does the same thing which the Amophaphalus titanum does. A little bit different is sometimes it blooms without the leaf actually dying back. In Amophaphalus titanum, the leaf dies back and then it shoots out a flower, but because it needs so much energy to shoot out a flower, such a big inflorescence needs a lot of energy to be pushed out. This is why the leaf usually dies back. With this guy, the leaf size is smaller, the, plant, uh, the flower is smaller, the inflorescence is smaller, so it may flower while the leaf is still feeding the, uh, the tuber down there. So, when we come to the actual inflorescence, it has the spandex, which can grow up to 18 inches tall. It has a really tall spandex. And that cup there, it's usually pink and pretty beautiful, even though it still smells just the same. It, it smells really bad, but all in all. So, that's the Amophaphalus atroviridis. When it dies back, we will just take the tubers out, clean them and make sure they are all like, if it's one or there is an offset and then keep developing them or propagating them that way. You propagate them by tubers. And you put them in a regular potting mix. So that's it for the Amophaphalus atroviridis. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about this plant, or any other plants for that matter, just throw it in the comment section and I'll try to the best of my ability to respond to all comments. Thank you very much and have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.